Hello and welcome. Today I am planning to show you that how I check and add oil to Toyota Corolla and Toyota VTT engines to, to this VTT engine. And first step is that how often you and I should to check this Toyota's oils and now I am talking in this motor oil and we have here this motor engine what what is in here and my recommendation is that that if you have time a lot it's good to check these oils in every week and if you drive really high mileage like 1000 mile per day then I recommend that you, you check this oil level in daily basis, but normally in weekly basis. Okay, and now I will show to you that how I do that oil check and oil adding and in all steps. And first step is that of course to open this Toyota's this bonnet and hood. And let's go to do that next. Okay, and now when door is open, then we look in this driver's side area and especially in that area in here. And there we can see this uh, bonnet open, this switch and this handle. What what I next next I am planning to go open, and it's it's in there. And I, I use my hand in here, and I this is the switch what I need to pull pull up pull up in the, that way. And normally, when we have this bonnet door, we can hear this this bonnet open opening uh, this sound. And next, I will introduce that to you. Okay, and now this, this bonnet is closed and then I go in here and I pull that, that spitz and soon you will hear this sound. And the sound is in that, this knob, knob. And this knob means that, that the bonnet opens. And next I will show to you that what happened in this bonnet. And we go to look this bonnet next. Okay, and here is this bonnet. And next I show to you that what happened when I pull up this uh, this door opening switch in inside in this cabin cabin area. And you will hear this sound, and you will see that when this bonnet opens a little bit. Okay, and now you saw that that how this bonnet opened a little bit. It opens something like like once one inches. Okay, and next step is that when you look this Toyota's this bonnet, there is very nice hole in this this model. This is excellent Toyota work, and this hole is in that side that you can insert your fingers in here and then we look in that area a little bit closer. Okay and now we are looking this hole in there what is by the way excellent. This is first car where I have, I have seen this this uh, hole in here and then when you look in there there is this bonnet this next release switch what, what we need to pull up in that way that we can take this bonnet out and it happens so that you insert your fingers in here and you pull that metallic switch in up and same time you insert your hand in here and then you can open this 
bonnet. And this is like a little bit difficult if you have not ever do that before. And when you try to open this bonnet, it is closed, and then when you press that switch in here and then pull out, this bonnet opens. And then you only move that bonnet in totally. And then we do next steps. Next step. Okay, and next step is that we open this bonnet totally in, in that way. And there is this bonnet, but I move a little bit up, and there is this bonnet is going up. And next next step is that we need to take this support bar. What is in there? There is that kind. Sorry, it is in here. There is this hole, and there is the switch, and. When we look in a little bit up, there is that kind of switch, what is in there, and I mean that bar. And then you take that bar in your hand, and you insert that bar in this bonnet area. What is, when you look, look that bonnet area, it is in that way, you take that bar and then you insert this in, in there. Okay, and I, I will show that where there is this place. Okay. And so you insert that, that bar in this hole. There is a special hole in, in here. There is a hole and you insert that there. And then, then you check in your hand that, that is this secure. Secure this bar because because this bonnet is quite heavy. It 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 weighed is something like I estimate that that uh, 20 to 40 pounds, like 10 to 20 kilos, and uh, that's it's very important that this support bar is in secure place. And then I will show a little bit closer. And there is this, this close. This is the place. Okay. And when this is ready, then we can look this motor more closer. And when we were planning to change these oils, and actually check those oils, first step what we need to do is this uh, this oil check to oil stick situation and I have here already cotton cloth what I I leave in here the normally in this motor area here ca can't be any any parts because this motor or any clothes because this motor is really hot and if I leave this my cloth in here when I start to drive then this cloth can start this fire in my motor area. And please take all clothes away when you have made this service. Okay, and next here is this oil stick, what is in here. And in, in, in Toyota this is really nice, nicely marked, it's yellow. And there is idea that you insert your finger in here and then you pull a, up this stick. And then there is next trick. You, you keep that stick in that position and then you can see in here this oil. It is this uh, little bit uh, greasy or this brown liquid material. And then you need that cotton cloth that you clean that stick totally. And next step is that, that there are those two, two holes in this stick, that one, and then that one. And this is the low oil mark, and this is the full oil mark, what is the mandatory level all time. And we have to keep our oil, oil level all time in this full level 
mark and it's it's even better that we have more oil in here like extra oil than low oil because low oil consumes our engine metallic parts really really badly and and then our motor is dead quite soon if if i drive oil level what is in this uh, like lowest level in here i can guarantee that if i drive 100,000 miles in so low oil levels like in this low mark my motor is is quite quite end and and the, it is there is much much this power is power loss in my motor but but if i drive all time in this full full level then then my toyota motor can last like 500,000 miles and it's our target okay and then how to measure this this oil stick now i have clean clean out the stick and next step is to insert the stick in this hole in here there is hole but i take closer picture it's in there and i insert that stick in there and then i drop it and i push that in this end so so much that this this stick is in in so so deep and there is also the sound especially in toyota cars this clap clap okay and now this measurement is in right position and in this toyota car this oil measurement and oil check is in best best class it's really easy and this motor has been engineered engineered so that this oil measurement is easy and really accurate and but but in in this is not not in in all cars there are different in different car manufacturers motors but in Toyota this is the best in class best in this motor class okay and then when when we measure this oil now we have cleaned that and then I take this stick out and then we check that how much we have oil and now when we check I can see that there is oil there is own oil something like in this a little bit more than this low level and and that's mean that that uh, that I I need to recheck this oil level again and because I I am adding more oil and then I insert the stick back in there and it is in there and then I check this oil amount again and I take this oil stick out and now there is really accurate picture and this means that that when I keep this stick in hori, hori, horizontally this is important that you keep in this 90 degree angel this stick not in that position or not in that this shows that I need to add more oil and this level is this low mark to this uh, full mark it is like one quarter or a little bit less than one liter and now I need to add there at least half quarter this oil and next I do that and next next we need to open this oil oil cap in this motor's oil cap what is in here and uh, and next we do that okay and there is this oil oil this uh, motor oil cap and hat and normally this this oil cap must be quite thick and especially in in women 
who don't have so much force in these fingers, they might need tongs. And next I will show that how this open this oil cap if using your hand, if you have power, like in this way, uh, you insert and then then you then you rotate this this uh, oil cap in clockwise in that direction in this way and then this oil oil hat opens and in here uh, and then when you don't have this finger power enough you need tongs and I, I saw that how this tongs opening happened. Okay and next we need that kind of tongs where we can move these uh, parts and we, we insert that bar something like two to three inches this base and then then we only go in that area and we insert that tongs in here and then we rotate in this way. And, and now 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 this opens and and then I take also closer view insert in here and then then only a little bit move and this opens and then then here is this oil cap hat and and please be careful don't drop this cap in sand and don't drop any any sand or dusty things in this this uh, motor adding hole because then they destroy destroys your motors, those metallic areas in inside. And next we need good oil. And my 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 understanding I'm, and my recommendation is that that I use always so good oil then then I could and and actually now I think that my level is not not the best one, but at least this full synthetic oil, and then I prefer mostly this mobile mobile one oil because this is so many years test winner, and it is not a joke. And and when I use this mobile one oil, I I, I can trust that this motor motor last long and then then I open that bottles this cap and in same time in here is nice this measurement scale and I am planning to add something like half half uh, quarter and then I only go in here and I I dry I dry this oil in in here this like Half quarter. Okay. Okay, and then when those oils are there, then we need to wait something like two minutes that this oil, all oils, drains in these holes to this oil basement in this motor's bottom area. Because this oil stick, this measures this oil amount in this motor bottom level, what is in the very near of this ground. Okay, and next, next, I of course, I, I check that how much I have now oil, and I add it there, like this whole, this half water and. Then we check this amount, and now it's clean. And then I insert that in back in there. And then I take stick out. And now 
I noticed that this oil level is in here and I need to add even more oil and then I I think that I, I need to add something like half quarter and I will do that next but but now I think that I have I have showed to you that how I check and add oil to Toyota Corolla motor and the final part is that that you insert this oil cap this is important thing uh, and then in very secure way and, and you rotate that and, and then you tick then this, this oil cap so thick then you can do that in using your hand don't don't tick this this oil cap using tongs because this is plastic and it can destroy okay and final part is then to of course close this this uh, this bonnet and then this check and add oil add is ready and thank you for watching